A Fox News alert, and this story is getting a whole lot of attention today. New airport security procedures under fire right now on Capitol Hill, including what some are calling out of control pat downs. Now, moments ago, the TSA administrator telling the committee he underwent one of these enhanced pat downs, and he described how it made him feel. Take a listen. Did it make you uncomfortable? I mean, what was your impression yes. of the person? Yeah, yeah. So it, it was more invasive than what I was was used to. Uh, of course, what in, is in my mind from almost 27 years with the FBI and all the counterterrorism work since 9/11 is, what are the plots out there? How are we informed about the latest intelligence and the latest technology? And what do we need to do to assure the American people that as they travel, that we are being thorough? So yes, it is clearly more invasive. The purpose of that is to obviously detect those type of devices that we had not seen um, before, for example, last, last Christmas. Well, a woman from Ohio uh, found out just how invasive uh, some of these pat downs were. She was traveling with her baby earlier this month, and she claimed she was never warned just how intrusive it would actually be. And she's also claiming that this invasive procedure amounted to sexual assault. And she's our next guest, Erin Chase, a blogger and author who lodged the complaint and had this experience. So, Erin, a lot of us have been through airport security. Some of us have been through the pat down process. What precisely happened uh, this time that was different? You know, I went through security. I had my baby with me. I was traveling with his special needs formula that comes in a can, so I knew to expect. I travel with him every several weeks. I knew to expect that they would, you know, scan that with the, the paper discs and check for the explosives. I came through the metal detectors with no problem. All of my stuff was taken to the middle um, security um, table in the middle to do the explosive testing. Um, the, the TSA agent asked me if I was aware of the new policies for taking liquids through security that were instated four years ago. I told her yes because I travel with my baby every couple weeks. Um, a few seconds later she told me to step over to the black mat for a pat down. Um, I was holding the baby at the time. Um, she told me I had to put him down in the stroller. Um, she then instructed me to remove my shoes, to step my feet apart, hold my arms out. Um, I did all of those things. Um, she patted down my arms, my back, my lower back. Um, then she proceeded to um, go around my waistband with her fingers inside my waistband. She did tell me she was going to do that. Um, after that, she gave me no further instruction during the pat-down. She then proceeded to touch my buttocks, um, both sides with the palm of her hand. She then moved around to the front, touched the tops of my breasts and underneath of my breasts. Again, she gave me no instruction that she was going to do that. Then she moved to the bottom of my legs, moved all the way up my inner thighs, touching my private areas. And again, she did not tell me she was going to touch me in any of those places. And then she said I was finished and went back to screening the rest of my belongings with the paper disc. And, and, and so why are you calling this sexual assault? Um, I was given no warning. She didn't give me any instruction as to what's going to happen, which I understand is breaking the TSA's protocol. They're supposed to inform you of what they're going to do during the pat-down. Um, I, I received no notification when I purchased my ticket that the procedures had changed. I received no notification on the front side of security saying that the op what the options were. There is not a, a body scanner at the Dayton airport, so there wasn't even an option for me. I was completely forced into this. I was completely blindsided. I, I went into shock. I just stood there. When she was finished, I picked up the baby and I just stood there. I didn't know what to say. No words were coming out of my mouth, which was very frustrating. I wish I could have stopped it. But had I stopped it and opted out, I would be in a situation similar to John Tyner right now. Uh, Aaron, did you see any other uh, passengers get patted down the same way? Um, I did not see any passengers at security. Um, when I went to board my flight, they had sent three TSA agents to my gate, which is an unusual protocol. Um, I later found out, and they did perform random pat-downs there, and I did walk past a woman who received a pat-down, and the TSA agent who gave her the pat-down did instruct her very specifically what she was going to do during the pat-down. I did hear her say that. Okay. You know, and we, we, we're obviously sharing your story because we've heard a lot of uh, these stories, too many to, to ignore, but the trouble with doing some of these stories, just to be perfectly honest is that when we don't have video and we don't have other witnesses and we don't have a representative from the TSA, uh, it creates this, you know, we're, we're taking your word for it and we're not dismissing you at all. Don't, please do not take it that way. But I'm going to read a statement from the TSA because that is what we do have. And then we'll talk a little bit more about this. So this is what the TSA does say. The TSA constantly evaluates and updates screening procedures to stay ahead of evolving threats. We implemented an enhanced pat-down at security checkpoints as one of our many layers of security 
security. While we cannot share specific details of our procedures for security reasons, pat-downs are designed to address potentially dangerous items like improvised explosive devices and their components concealed on the body. All passengers have the right to request private screening at any time in the screening process. TSA personnel have been in contact with the passenger, they're talking about Aaron, uh, reviewing the alleged incident and will take appropriate action if necessary. So a couple things, Aaron. First of all, were you told you could be taken to a private area to have this done? No, I was not told that a private screening was an option. I didn't even know that I was going to be patted down in such an invasive, sexually, you know, violating now, way. If, I, if, if I had known that, I probably would have requested yeah. it. Yeah. So if they did, if they had given you a warning, would, would you have gone along, considering kind of the, the, the world that we live in, if they told you, listen, these are our new procedures, we're going to have to do this, um, would you have said that was okay? Um, you know what? I don't know. I, prob I probably wouldn't have said that that was okay, and then I would be, you know, I, you're forced into it. If I, if I had opted out, I would be subject to an $11,000 fine and a civil suit faced against wow. me. So, you know, that's a choice I was going to have to make. You know, John Tyner, that's what's going on with him right now. So, you know, I, I was completely forced into the situation. And did they I had, follow up I with you? I had no options out of it. Did they follow up with you, as um, they No, said? I followed up with them to file the complaint, and they have not followed up since then. I just have a brief final question, and then I'm going to have to run, because we've heard some from 9-11 families uh, speaking out, saying, listen, this is not a perfect process, but we're going to have to do something, because we live in a world where people are trying to hurt us and blow up planes. I only have about 30 seconds, but what would be your response to, to some of those families that are saying that you know I hurt for them I hurt for everybody who's being subject to this you know this sexual you know uh, violating experience in the airports um, you know security is obviously everybody's number one priority but you know as a law-abiding citizen mom traveling with her infant had no other option had no scanner option this was completely inappropriate behavior on behalf of the TSA and it, you know I think there's probably got to be some happy medium here, and I, I am calling for them to change this policy and stop sexually violating passengers all over the country. Well, Aaron, we appreciate you coming on, uh, sharing your story. We put your account also on our website so our viewers can check it out as well, and uh, uh, we thank you very much. We'll follow up with you and see what happens next. Aaron Chase, thank you. You know, a few weeks ago I was in the sling and went through just wearing the sling. They didn't tell me that because I had the sling on, I would have to go through the full body pat-down. It was not fun. There's your account. Yeah. We had yeah. It was not fun.